Hi folks, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at some shortcuts that we can use within Word, Excel, PowerPoint, any one of those, and maybe a couple other programs that'll help you work with it in a more efficient manner. So let me just type out something. Um, the man in the window went to the shop. Okay, don't worry about the spelling. <laughs> now, if I want to undo that, which I've just done, I can use a shortcut control and Z, control and the letter Z, and you'll see what it'll do. It will undo what I've just done. Now, let's say I've <laughs> done the undo by mistake and I want to redo this. Then I'm going to press control and the letter Y and it will bring that back. So control Z to undo, control Y will redo the undo. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press control and W. And you can see this is different to Alt and F4. Alt and F4 closes the program itself. Control and W closes the window that I'm in. In other words, it's going to close that particular document. Now I can go and I can say, well, I'm going to open up a new document and there's a new document. And we've got Control and P. Now Control and P will bring up the print preview. So if I'm typing out a document and I just quickly want to, you know, go to the print preview and see what this will look like, I can use Control and P for print preview. Now here's another one. If my cursor is right at the end and I want to go all the way back to the beginning, um, instead of, you know, going to take my mouse because I'm busy typing on the keyboard, I can just press on control plus the home button on my keyboard. And there you can see the mouse cursor will go all the way back to the beginning. Now, what if I'm, let's just say a couple of spaces down there and I want to go home, control, home, and you see it takes me all the way right back to the beginning of my document, not the beginning of that row. Now I'm still busy typing and I quickly want to find something. If I use the shortcut control and F, it's going to open up the find field. So this is for me to go and search for something. And then lastly, we've got control S, which saves the file. So there you can see immediately it's coming up with save. And I'm going to save this to the desktop as well. Right now I'm going to make some changes and control S and it will save the changes I've made to this document. Shortcuts that are here to help you work more efficiently.